Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Mr. Andy Gamer here, and yes, again, by the time I'm going to be teaching you three more lightsaber tricks that I came up with. Now, these are going to have to counter a blade, and I would use the cheap ones. I wouldn't use very expensive FX lightsabers, just because I wouldn't want to damage, but just get you one of these little cheap ones, like 30 bucks, and these sort of encounter music, but I don't have any music with me right now. So what you want to do, you want to hold your lightsaber just like this, and then flip it back and catch it. I'll show you again. So as you can see the blade, flip it back. I'm going to actually tilt the camera more, that way you guys can see it flip for you guys. So I'll stand out here like that. So I'm going to try to do it with my, with looking at the camera, so like this. See? It's hard to look at the camera, but you guys get the detail. So, flip the camera back up. Now, the next one, I already taught you that trick. But here's the next one. I'm going to teach you how to go up and bring it back down and catch it. And then twirl like that. So, I'm going to tilt the camera up again for you guys. So, here it is right here. I'm going to back way up that way you guys can see it. Like that, so it'll go up and over. But you want to have it go way up in the sky, so it'd be like this. And catch it. Camera. Again, there you go. So, the next trick is basically you do. Oh, uh, I already taught you that one. Okay. So, the next trick, I was going to go for the bear roll. And then the swing, but I already showed you that trick in the last video. Episode 2 is this one. So, this is what you guys want to do. You guys want to put it on your belt clip. If you guys don't have a belt clip, it's okay. Don't worry about it. And it'll be sitting just like that. Now, when you're ready, you unclip it. You swing it. Like that. But... Here's the next trick. So this trick, you want to hold your saber like this, upside down, like this. Hold it with your fingers. And it is going to take some time to practice, but I've already mastered it. You just got to get it on the right time. I can do it every time if I try to, but I'm trying to show you guys how to not do it. So once you guys do this, you flip it and catch it just like that. I'll do it on this side, that way you guys can see it. I'm sorry. And catch it. Now, more importantly, you don't want to ever have your hands up here. You don't want to grab the blade, so if you do that, it's going to look like this. It's not going to look cool. It's, it's going to look like this when you catch it. And that's not going to look cool. You want to have a spin, and then catch it like this. Right? Am I right? So... You know what? I, I'll do. I'll do five. I'll do five. So this is number four. Uh, grab the camera. So the next one, you're gonna basically have to have a partner with this one. I don't have one with me right now. But anyway, what your partner does is he throws it right to you. You catch it. And make sure the button, this button, or whatever button, how you turn it on, make sure it's facing you. That way it's not like this, and then you have to turn around and then do it, because then you'd be killed already, if this was real life. But, I live on the Death Star, so, I know how to do this. So, next what you want to do, and yes, there are birds on the Death Star, of course. I know I'm going to get a comment of that, and there is nature on the Death Star. It's just I'm inside my big room. So next one, so basically you just have somebody throw it to me. Look, see how the buttons are facing me? That's what you want. You don't want this. And then you gotta turn it around. If you did that, it would look like this. But you don't want that. You want this. Like that. Now, the last trick of the day guys 
You're also going to need a partner for this one as well. You're also going to need a partner. So if you don't have a partner, this is going to just be a waste of time, basically. So I'm trying to figure out how you remember this. It's a real, it's really hard to do. It's really hard. It's really, really hard to do. I'm going to do it to myself. So this is what you guys want to do. You guys want to throw the saber to you. Look, buttons go to you. Not like that. But when it's coming towards you, you, want to, you don't want to see this part. You want to see this part. So, get it thrown to you. Do two swings like this. Two twirls. Do a twirl. Switch hands. Switch back. So it's like this. And then do another twirl. So it's like this. Boom. 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 Kick it up under your feet. Toss it. I know. That's the hard part. You got to kick it up under your feet. And it's got to be a lot lower. And you have to let go right here. That way it swoops down. Next, what you guys want to do. After that, so it'll look like this. Boom, 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 boom. Toss it up. But make sure when you toss it up, when it, here, I'll just do it like this. So I'll do the whole cycle again for you guys. Way back here, that way you guys can see the cycle. So, boom, 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 boom. Like that. So it goes up like this and comes down like that. So, that's about it for this video, guys. So comment, like, share, subscribe for more weekly information. I will see you in the next video. Bye.